just <laughs> yeah, no shots of the shop. Uh, just down here at ATS with Phil. Um, he's just up the road. He is one of our hero clients, and we're here with Bert, his Proteus P3. Um, he has one of the big chonky lasers from Op. So we're just going to try doing some cut tests with this um, kickboard based on how the results go with we're going to try with the small laser and then we're going to try with the big one um, because I've been looking with a client who wants to do some inlays and bits and pieces so we're just looking for how we can get quite high resolution on some of their logo designs um, so yeah we're about to just cut it and see what type of quality we get with the laser A little bit, a few little melty patches, but all in all, that's just lifted out. And you can see that it's stayed clean on the good side, but that should, in theory, just clean up as well. So that's actually a really nice result. So let's um, try that green again. So do we reckon it's better there or there? Which we do one of each. Do two doesn't, does, does it really matter? Doesn't matter. Just give it a go. Yeah, the green's definitely tougher to cut due to it being darker, but it has, for the most part, cut through. And I wonder if that's different consistencies with the actual material as well. Like, it does feel like there's some slightly higher spots and some lower spots. But all in all, uh, yeah, it's bold. Alright, like, for the first go, it really, um, and then sticking the bits back together, because that's what you're after, was the inlay stuff, so if I, if I fill that off, and stick that in, like, that's actually pretty good, like, evidently, you've got the curve from the laser beam, but if you adjust that, it's actually really close. So you've got a little bit of daylight through it, but yeah, that's the width of the blade of the laser that we haven't adjusted for. So, I mean, for 15 minute trial, to get that level of results, I'm pretty impressed with that. That's, yeah. that's a success um, in my books. 
So we're just discussing uh, what Phil would do differently next time. Yeah. Um, so if it was me and I was wanting to cut this, so I bought the 30 watt laser because that was the biggest one they had at the time. And then after I bought it, they released the 45 watt. So I would go for the 45 watt. Um, and on the yellow, that may do it in one pass. And if you got it, but two passes, I definitely think on the yellow, the green is definitely a little bit harder to cut through. And I think that's to do with the color, not the actual material itself. It's, um, it's so a laser and uses light, so it, it's absorbing the light. I, I'm not a laser expert, I'm just a, a toyer. So that's what I would do is um, I would go for that. The other thing is, um, I would need you'd need to build an enclosure um, to contain the fumes, so it's quite gassy what it is. So I'm yeah, not too sure pretty, what the material pretty noxious, so um, depending, uh, and that's why I haven't used this laser too much myself. So I'm only cutting foam, um, which you'll see on the back here. Which I don't need the power of the big one. Um, the little six watt laser does that really nicely. And when I was cutting timber um, and other things, the fumes that I was getting off the um, the wood and the glues and all that was quite harsh. So I stopped using because I haven't got an enclosure. So um, and I think an enclosure is really important. Um, I would go to the next size up, which is a 45, and you know you can see the results we've got, which um, and a little bit of tweaking you'll get there. So we've got the air assist on this, so you'll need compressed air um, to hook it up. It's only a form of line, but if you're doing long runs, you will need your compressor. I don't know if it's called a single phase DIY compressor would cut the mustard, um, depending on how long your runs are. And I don't know what you're cutting and what you're doing. But you can slow the speed down and all that in the software, your design software. Um, that was the speed that I had set that works well with the foam. Um, if you go faster, you're just going to have to do more passes. Um, if you go slow, the challenge is that you'll start burning the material, which we were doing here. So you might, and it's just a matter of playing um, with the settings, and, and that's how I learned what to do with the foam. It's just get in the sand pit and yeah. start throwing sand. So yeah, unreal. Look at that. And uh, yeah, if you need a compressor, we know a guy. <laughs> I sell them too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Phil, with our Friday Night Rave glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you on the next round. Cheers, guys.